welcome to another wonderful day of uh, Seanward's Adventure. Oh, what's this? What does that look like to you? Well, I've, uh, I saw a game on, that was uh, on sale on Steam. <laughs> and it was a crazy sale. It was 75% uh, off. And so I decided to buy a Founders Pack for myself and to give the extra copy of the game to Lushable Echo. And uh, yeah, and if you haven't already noticed, this game is called Starforge. And I've been playing it a bit here just to get a hang of what things are like and how everything kind of works and operates. And I don't know, I'm kind of digging this game. It reminds me a lot of like, uh, kind of... Well, I don't know. Minecraft and Seven Days to Die and... You know, all those other games that have the similar kind of voxel engine. It just seems that them using the smooth train with the, the square building, it almost, almost doesn't quite work. Because what you find is you'll have kind of like areas here that are underneath. So anyways, what are we going to do today? Well, I'm just going to do a quick tour of the game just to give you an idea of what it's about. And I don't know if I'm going to make any more episodes of this. I know that this will be probably something to record on certain sessions. Um, just because the game itself is still in, in beta or whatever, alpha. I don't know, it's an early access that I purchased anyway, so whatever uh, they call it it doesn't matter it just means the game's unfinished <laughs> so that's how you harvest wood you can keep harvesting here let's see how far let's go all the way just to show you guys what it looks like see the tree's gonna fall now and so I keep harvesting it because you can keep chopping it for wood so look at that that tree and the wonderful tree physics here is just amazing <laughs> that's of course sarcastic um, the physics are kind of the kind of physics that uh, if there's nothing that stops it, it'll keep going and going and going until eventually there's a flat. So that's the kind of physics. I don't, I don't usually like that kind of physics, but I think they're going to have to change that. It's definitely something to fix. But as far as this harvesting goes, I think it's pretty cool. And uh, hopefully I'm not hitting the ground. <laughs> You can hit the, there. We go. That tree's harvested, and then you can also hit the stumps here too. And then there's resources to collect because there's stuff to craft. So, for example, I need more ammo. So let's craft 50. Boom. Forge. Look at that. It uses up components. I need to get more sulfur. So we'll have to go find some sulfur then for bullets. It's very important. I did find a pistol that has more ammunition in it, but I find that th this gun that I'm using is pretty much it's primo, top notch <laughs> right now uh, with what I can craft. See, these are one, one shots. Um, with the other gun I had, they were like four or five shots, so that was just terrible. The other gun I had was, I don't have the blueprints for it, so yeah. So let's see here, where are we going? I need to get some sulfur. I think there's some over here. Let's go over there. Uh, this game does have a little bit of the food element. If you notice in the bottom right hand corner, you'll see there's your armor readout. There's also your uh, food or, or hunger meter, whatever you want to call it. Uh, I don't know what to call it. <laughs> and there's also a voice chat thing in the game here, where if you press and hold V, you can do voice chat kind of like a la rust there uh, what's on top of this hill here and I don't know I played this game for about an hour and a half so far and it's it's not too shabby it's it has its moments it's obviously not done uh, but it's definitely it's different that's all I gotta say the games not like your typical survival game I think they they made a little more arcadey it feels, so it's a little more uh, I don't know what's the word for it. 
We made it just a tad arcadey, so it's more fun. Um, it still seems like it takes a while for you to collect resources until you upgrade your drill, so, which isn't too bad. Uh, this is oil that you use for lots of different various components out there. There's iron here, which is a very, very important resource. That's like one of your most common that you're going to use. Let's run over here to that. Uh, this is one thing with this game, I think, if I do create more videos with this one, it's going to have to have commentary in it or I'm going to have to skip through stuff. Um, I want to try a new style if I was to make videos with this. Um, well, it's that sulfur there. Um, I would want to try just to see if we could possibly you record the whole thing and then just speed up the the boring parts. I don't know. We're gonna have to kind of play it by ear with that stuff. Just gonna grab a bunch of iron ore here. Let's grab some water. Sand gives water, or the ground with snow in it gives water. And the water is used for creating kind of sprays and everything. So I'm just gonna collect the sulfur here. Oh. I hear something. That's... Uh, let's see here. Let's just do a quick sweep of this area. I don't think there is anything, but. Okay, I just thought I heard something. That's all. So let's carry on. Let's take some of this stuff here. Take some sulfur. Lots of this stuff. This is for what's making ammo. That's really soft and really pliable and easy to get into. So that's how I can already. <laughs> Let's see. Come on. Uh, uh. <laughs> oh. oh no. Okay. Uh, 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 there we go. Right on top here. Top this little plateau here, and I can kind of just. Take the sulfur from all this stuff. Oh, that's so cool. Ooh. Well, sulfur is an important. Um, exploring is important too in this. I haven't really done much of that. Um, I find it kind of challenging because you need to get all your components, your resources. You need to to be able to. I don't know, you just need to be able to, to upgrade your stuff, so you're pretty much limited to where you can go so you can upgrade your drill. Uh, is that an animal? That's fine. This vegetation really gets in the way. Um, I've been tweaking with my video settings. I think I've got them. Uh, I've been tweaking with my video settings. What the heck did I say? I've been tweaking my video settings <laughs> uh, just to see if I can get something that works good. What's this? Is this rock? Oh, that's stone. Just to get something that works good. Um, I find this game is really, really heavy on the FPS, but I'm getting about 20 FPS while recording, so I think I got the settings almost right. Um, I can't have as pretty as some people, um, but that's fine. That's totally fine. I'm just trying to figure this game out. And I'm hoping Lush will Echo will like this game just as much as I am. Um, I have been enjoying this. Uh, these vats, I'm not ha I have no idea what these vats are for, or these little things here are for. Uh, I've never encountered that before. Uh, what else do I need? What else do I have no clue about? Uh, recipes, you can get these, these recipes here. And if you have it, or if you don't have it, you can use them and then it allows you to build those components so for example right here see look at this clay blocks hey I can build clay blocks which is a tier 2 item that's pretty freaking cool um, that's probably rain I'm hearing or creatures I think that's creatures the sounds in this game are just really off a little bit but that's okay. 
let's go grab that. Um, the reason I'm doing this is because this is where you find all the fun stuff. Um, you can find good loot off these creatures, off any of the creatures. So essentially when you hunt, you can kill them. You can kill them all. <laughs> I have no idea if they become extinct or how quickly they spawn back. Haven't really seen all that too much in action. Uh, let's harvest some of this brown stuff. This is clay hit. Yeah. Need this stuff for those clay blocks. Um, building in this game is a little bit different than Minecraft or any of those um, games. The system is 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 interesting. That's all I gotta say. I'll show you guys here as soon as I get back to the the base here. I just want to take care of this creature. Bang. Oh, probably four shots for some reason. It's probably like the yeah, it's probably like the the big slug guys. Uh, this is a daffodillo. <laughs> um, I don't know. It's just it's different. The game's different. It's a lot heavy on the recipes, so you need to find your recipes to be able to carry on. Um, yeah, that's probably about it that I know about this game. I know that I'll learn more as I go. I know there's vehicles in this game. Uh, there's uh, so many other things. I just, I don't know. I, I saw this game for 75% off in a daily deal. Decided to, to buy it. Um, it might be a good opportunity to make some videos with. I have no clue. But yeah, um, I know there's going to be a lot of running with this one game in the beginning just uh, due to the fact of of the way it's designed and the way it's meant to be played um, I think they want us to, to run around I'm not 100% on that I don't mind it I actually enjoy that fact actually that we get to, to run around and explore and harvest and this big plain area is actually pretty boring sure it has this vat thing with the, the big beam in the middle but I have no clue what that means I decided to build my uh, build <laughs> build my base here, just off to the side, um, not causing any trouble. Oh yeah, there's sand. Let's go get some sand, guys. Yeah, let's go get some sand. That's what I need. I need a lot of sand. So there's this ridge in there. Um, yeah, let's go over this way. There's a ridge that is formed that is hard to bypass. Um, I just don't know exactly where it starts, so I'm just gonna head this way. Let's see here. Oh yeah, I need some of this stuff I think too, kind of that we're coming up to. I don't think this is clay, is it? Or maybe it is. Oh yeah, it's clay, it's clay, okay. Let's go this way. Oh yeah, yeah, see you over here on the left. I don't know if you saw it. There's some crystals there you can pick up. I think this is the start of the, uh, the underground area. Let's see. Yeah, over here on the left. Cool. Oh, and there's this stuff you can harvest, plant fibers just one that's not much but in the beginning when you're strapped for it it does help oh yeah see oh I'm on the top of it here so this is kind of like the ridge um, and underneath there's like a cave system so that's pretty neat let's see here I run up here a bit uh, get some sand and yeah, I don't know. But that's about it. I, I haven't really. I know there's spaceships you can explore way down there. There's a spaceship you can get to. Um, I haven't really explored that just because I need to upgrade my stuff. Um, yeah, I think that about covers it. I'm gonna collect some sand here, and then I'll head back to my base, see what I can craft with it, what I can upgrade. Uh, what I need to collect for that and yeah otherwise hope you enjoyed this short episode here just to show you a new game that I found called Starforge I'm not sure how long it's been around how long it's been development for but yeah you definitely check it out on Steam and, and uh, who knows maybe you'll see some more episodes thank you you all have a great day and enjoy